public's not allowed till noon. Oh, I'm not the public. <laughs> You'll have to leave. Hey, aren't you Mike Ross? Yeah. You pitched no hitter for the Devils. Yeah, 1946, when they were still in Washington. And you lost the game, one nothing on there by Kid Scanlon. Well, that was a hard hit ball. I think the score was protecting my no hitter by calling it an error. No, a good second baseman would have had it. You pitched no hitter. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Mr. Ross, I'm a real Devil fan, honest. I just wanted you to close look at him. I'm not a groupie or anything, really. Well. Don't let me catch you asking for autographs. I don't even have a pencil. Okay, then you can stay. Thanks, I really appreciate it. You get him, Roy. You get him. Where'd you get him? Don't worry about it. It's early. Just keep swinging the bat. Yeah. Got him 50,000 more, and he's still not happy. Hey, Washburn, you like you're in good hands. All right, all right, come on. All right, let's go. Come on, let's go. Move, move. Hello, Dirk. Well, that's Dirk. Hello, how are you doing? Working him hard? Yeah, yeah. So's your center fielder. Hmm. So, where is Mendenhall? It's gonna be a little late. Hey, that's not fair. I'm the one that's supposed to be late. Lou, would you be a sweetheart and get me something to drink? Anything diet? Certainly. Dirk, what about you? No, thanks, Lou. I want a six hey! Barry! Barry! Let me see you shack! Get to work. I'm concerned about Leon. I think the least you could do is let him work out with us. Hey, Leon's a free agent in every sense of the word. He can do what he wants. Here it Are beating up on the fence again? He could take it. I don't know. Center field just doesn't look the same without Leon. This damn good kid. Hits everything with power. So I see. <laughs> <laughs> I like that laugh. Miller. Yes, sir. You're as fat as I've ever seen you. I know. It's the daiquiri and barbecue they have down here. You can't resist us. Sure you can. And you will. 20 pounds by the time we head north. I don't believe we've met. Liz West, Sandy Mendenhall. It's a lovely outfit. Halston? Laurent. Well, it's was close. France and England not that far apart. <laughs> They're American designers. Oh. So where are you staying down here? The Villa Medici. Who are you? That's Lowe. Lowe Garth. He used to play second base for us back Do you mind if I call you Liz? Why not? That'd be daring. Oh, I've got to get this. Uh, are you going my way? Yes, as a matter of fact, Lou and I were just leaving. Great. <laughs> 20 pounds, Dirk. So, what do you think of our ball club? <laughs> Looks like they need a little help. Maybe you're right. But all that's going to change. There isn't anything I wouldn't give to bring a pennant to Denver. Yeah? Even fair salaries for the players? How often does he get fed? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Lou does sometimes confuse business with pleasure. Well, I'll bet you don't. No, that would be boring. I thought you'd like to party. I'm an agent, aren't I? I'm gonna put you on my mailing list, then. Hey, what about me? I'm gonna put you on a different list, Goff. Nice meeting you, Sandy. Nice meeting I've had this time. Hang in there, pal. Well, it's an in agent lady and her faithful man, Goomba. Hey there, Wall Street. Hey, Alvin. Hey, Liz, I gotta talk to you about entering that Boston Mutual Fund. Uh-huh. How's, uh, 7 o'clock for a drink? Perfect. Lou, your fly is open. Hey, you look. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, but aren't you Lou Golf? Well, the girl who saved bubblegum car. Yeah, nice to meet you. You bet at 298 Lifetime. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, what's your name? 
Paula Fredkin. Yeah? This is Liz West. You're the sports agent. Mm-hmm. Didn't we see you at the stadium earlier today? I was trying to talk to Mr. Miller. Mm. What, you're trying to get work with the organization? You might say that. Sit down. I may be able to help. I know the, uh, the head of concessions for Denver. His name is Ira Kunkel, so you tell me your qualifications. And... I want to play second base for the Devils. <laughs> what, what did she say? I want to play second base for the Devils. What did you do? Play baseball in high school? They wouldn't let me. Well, where did you get your feet wet? A bunch of us get together on weekends. <laughs> I play with some ex-minor leaguers and a couple former big leaguers. Big leaguers? Like who? Like Rex Bannister. The ex-Cleveland knuckleballer? I thought he was in Yakima growing apples. Well, now he's in Havasu throwing them. <sighs> Look, uh... Paula Fredkin. Yeah, Paula. Uh, this, it's just not in our line. Sure it is, Lou. What are you saying, Paula? The coconut court. You mean you're gonna help me? Well, I'll certainly have Lou call this Rex Bannister person, and we'll take it from there. All right. Thank you, Miss West. Liz, you are going way off the deep end here. Lou, the shallow end's for beginners. Last winter, after I bought this team, one of the coaches, who shall remain nameless, said to me, Mr. Mendenhall, you bought yourself a nice ball club. Well, I thought about that for a minute, and then I told him, I don't want a nice ball club. I want a winning ball club. You guys know that a team has got to reflect the town that it plays in. And you ought to know that Denver is no town for sissies. It's no town for ball players who don't have an instinct for the jugular vein. But most important of all, it's no town for losers. Now, you guys are the Denver Devils. You're not the London Lottie Dawes, and I want you to remember that, all right? Sounds like you want us to use a little violence. We don't play that way. This is football, man. You're, uh, Kirschbaum. Second base, right? And play a rep. Well, Kirschbaum, where would you like to be traded? You can't trade me, Mendenhall. I got a no-trade clause. I see. Well, then, I guess I'll just have to ignore you. Now, would you please leave the meeting? Come on, you guys. If we stand together, we can beat this guy. Look, that's what the player strike was all about. The players standing together against the owners. Anyone who walks out now forfeits his job. That means the entire season on the bench. Well, you've got to call his bluff now. He's not going to play a team of rookies. I don't know. I think he will. How about Chris? What a bunch of guys. You can trade me. You can trade me to Cleveland, because I don't even want to be in the same league with these marshmallows. <laughs> Where's uh, Lago Marcino? Yes, sir. You play second base from now on. Yes, sir. I'm getting a very positive feeling about all this now. And Thanks for that, Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See you. Yeah, Jerry, like I was saying, there's nothing to incorporate in it. All you got to do is tell your agent. Well, I ain't got yeah. an agent. You don't have an agent? No. Who negotiates your contract? Right. Rafe! Who's Rafe? Don't tell me. Your brother-in-law, right? Hey, you're pretty smart, Wall Street. <laughs> hey, Wall Street, listen. Your parents know where you are.
need a man's help. Yeah, you know where I can find one? <laughs> some size. I can handle it. That's okay, some size. What's your name? Paula. You know who I am? Well, sure, you're Calvin Barry. You have to learn where the walls are. Wrong. The wall comes to learn where I am. Remember that. Where are you from in Arizona? Havasu City. Isn't that why they have the London Bridge? Very good. You know, you have amazing bone structure. I see you staying at the Coconut Court. How did you know? Got your keys hanging in the trunk. I'm real quick to notice things like that. You also have a bad trunk. So? So you plan to go softball game? No, do you? Why are you so uptight? Look, why don't you just let me finish this? I asked you if you play softball on a team and you come on super aggressive. Well, let me guess. You wanted to play softball, but you couldn't make the team, right? Am I right? Hey, look, we're all trying to make the team, Sugar. Even me. I mean, if the devil's flying Leon Davis, I can kiss this year goodbye. So don't feel bad. You're not alone. Hey, we're in the I'm going to play second base for the devil. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's, that's real cute. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> Leon, don't worry. They need you. Trust me, Calvin Barry has this absolutely stunning way of catching fly balls. Come on in, Lou. Listen, Leon, are you going to be there for the next half hour? All right, I'll call you back. Bye. Well? <laughs> Rex thinks she's pretty good. He likes how she handles the bat. No power to speak of, naturally, but uh, he says she's a good contact hitter. Hardly ever strikes out. Hits to all fields. In her fielding? Fast. Good glove, accurate arm, good on the pivot. Major League caliber? Yeah. Oh, Lou. This could be worth a fortune. <laughs> Liz, you're going to get a hard time with this. The endorsements. My God, Lou, the endorsements. Call Dirk Miller. I want you to set up a tryout for tomorrow afternoon after the regular workout. Tell him we've got a young player he's got to see. Now, don't mention the player's name or gender. Oh. Just that it's someone very special, and I want Mendenhall to be there. Then, then call Paula. Let's move on this. Liz, you're crazy. take up golf. What the hell is it? Here they come. Your second baseman's late. I see Mendenhall. He's over in Lakeland. Big trade in the works. I really wanted him to see Paula. Don't worry. I'll give him a full report. On... Paula? Yeah. Well, a friend would like you to meet Dirk Miller. <laughs> You're catching flies, Dirk. Oh, good Christ. Paula's the second baseman. She... Sweet Jesus. She comes highly recommended. Didn't the security guard toss you out of here yesterday? Dirk, Paula comes highly recommended. Forget it, Liz. Please, Dirk, will you just listen I'm to me? I'm not going to give a girl a tryout. Well, will you tell Dirk what Rex Bannister said? He thinks she's good. I don't have a question. Dirk, Dirk, just come over. Come, come here for a minute. Now, look. I think there's been a little misunderstanding. Mm-hmm. You don't have to give Paula a full tryout. Just let her get up once against Alvin. That's all. And if you're not impressed, we'll leave. One chance. That's not a tryout. That's just being polite. All right. One at that. That's it. No second chance. One girl, one at that. Agreed. I must be out of my mind. Okay, you guys. I want Chandler on the mound. Excuse me, Mr. Miller? What? I need a few minutes. What for? I need to put my cleats on and loosen up a little bit. 
go ahead. I don't think it's for real. Publicity stunt Mendenhall dreamed up. Hey, Mendenhall don't know nothing about this. Yeah, I can't see Mendenhall being the one to integrate baseball. Well, I don't mean integrate. I mean, uh... You know what I mean. Interfeminate. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever word you use for chicks. Feminine. Hey, there's no way a girl can play this game. They got no upper body strength, for one. They don't have any muscles in their shoulders to make a strong throw. Well, I knew this girl in Providence. She was as big as Bretzky. <laughs> she Thanks used to lot. work at a fish market. And I used to go in and yell, and all the time I'd say, Hey, Christine, how about four pounds of cod? And Christine would take four those pounds. goddamn four pounds of cod. You ever see four pounds of cod? Like this. And she'd take them, she'd heave them at me across the room faster than Nolan Ryan. Uh -huh. Nolan Ryan. I'm telling you. And all I had to say was, Hey, Christine, how about the four pounds of cod? How about the rookie shuts up? All right. Oh, boy. I'm telling you. How you doing? Pretty good. How about you? All right. So what position are you playing? Second base. Yeah? I play second base, too. Yeah? Yeah. Good luck. I'm ready, Mr. Miller. Sure? Yep. All right. Okay, everybody. Wall Street. Yeah. You're on the mound. Everyone else take their normal position. Better up. One more. All right. Let's see how she can play second base. Get out there, Paula. Kid, you sit out. Jim, come here. I want you to hit a few balls for us. You guys, come on out of here. Come on. Do some running. Let's go. All right, we know she can hear. Let's see if she can catch. Okay, guys. Okay, Paula, here we go. Four, three, two. This is it. She's quick. Let's see. Keep your head up now. Look alive. Bring it ball down a little bit. Bring it down. This is a hot one. No, all right, I mean, that's not bad. Yeah. All right. Let's see if she can execute the double play. Kid, I want you to run from first. Wall Street? Yeah. As soon as Jim hits it, you're running from home. Paula! The 463 DP, okay? Okay. Here we go, here we go now. Come on, lady. It's the adrenaline. <laughs> hey, Paula, I'm going to try the 643 DP, okay? Kid. Yeah. I want you to take out the second place. All uh, right, come on, Skip. She's after your job, kid. Hmm? But there! Okay. 
Go, Kenny. He wants you to take her out, huh? He wants me to take her out. Yeah, we'll better her than you. Come on, let's go. Looking good. Six four three, Paula. Six four three. <laughs> Take her out? Dirk, you intentionally told him to hold on to that ball so he'd take Paula out. Oh, poor little dear. I wanted to see what she was made of. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I take her out? Yeah, you took her out to a drive-in. I think you're in love with this girl. All right, let's see if she can score from second on a base hit. Lay it in there, Wall Street. Here we go now. Hall. Wrong. It's the least you could do. The tryout was the least I could do. Please, Mr. Miller, just give me a chance. Look, little orphan Annie, just how much do you know about my career? You were an all-star catcher in 1961. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm talking about my managerial Dirk, career. I don't see what that has to do with what we're trying to work I, out. I spent 10 years managing the minors. Who knows what the minors are like? But as for you ladies, let me just say the minors are the fits. A lot of cheap hotels, a lot of junk food, like junk crummy food. showers, bugs, a, a lot of feeling tired and smelly. They're no air asking. conditioning in, in the summer, huh? I'm not asking you to return to the minor league. Yes, you are. If Mendenhall finds out I gave her a look-see, he'll think I'm a weirdo. And Mendenhall does not like weirdos. He thinks they're inefficient. Once he tabs your weirdo, you're gone. Dirk, you're not making any sense. Mendenhall's gonna know you gave Paula a tryout because I'm gonna tell him. That doesn't matter. I'll say she isn't good enough. Would you really do that, Mr. Miller? You're goddamn right. Come on, for Christ's sake, it's my career. Thought you were a good guy, that's all. Well, I'm not. I'm a creep, okay? <laughs> okay. We just want you to sit in on the meeting. Then at the appropriate time, we want you to testify to Paula's baseball ability. Why us? Huh? Why us? Why not the California Angels? They train in Palm Springs, for Christ's sake. Lou, be a dear. Why don't you set up a meeting for the four of us at, say, 10.30ish? Um, uh -huh. You won't regret it, Mr. Miller. Sure, I'll regret it. Just hope I can survive it. Sugar? How you doing? Uh, good. Um, I came by to apologize. I didn't mean to laugh at you like that. It's okay. Uh, listen, how'd you like to go somewhere and dance? I can't. I have a really big day tomorrow, and I have to get some sleep. I have you back by 11. But I can't. Okay. I was going to take you to meet a few of the devils, but, um, uh, you got to go to bed, so I guess I'll see you later. Which devils? Ain't got no trouble in my life. No fool, you make me cry. Yeah, I'm 
Hey, Walter. She was good, wasn't she? Who? The girl. She didn't knock me out. Do you think Mendenhall's gonna sign her? Mendenhall can sign a girl second baseman. Then I can balance the goddamn budget. <laughs> I don't know, man. I got this itchy feel. Yeah, it's called herpes. Don't scratch. <laughs> Hey, you really fooled me with that change-up. Did you put anything on it? <laughs> Besides your hand, I mean. I know what you mean. And I know what you're trying to do, too. You can forget it. This dumbass rookie and this kamikaze center fielder you came in with, they may want to treat you like one of the boys. But to me, you're a freak. And I got better things to do than hang out with freaks. You coming, Jerry? Anybody want to dance with the freak? Uh, don't worry about it. It's a real hard ass. Oh, well, I think it's time I took you back to the motel. You don't want to be staying with me, do you? No, no, that's fine. That's fine. Well, I'm staying here and having a Coke. Maybe two. Where are you sitting, Tony? Over here. You want to sit down? Thanks. You look pretty good today. Why? Hey, uh, Jenny, do me a favor. Leave us alone for a minute, all right? You don't have to go. That's all right. Take it easy, Paul. See you later.